Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm making a little flower vase by upcycling a jar that I had in my stash. This is a jar that my niece gave me, and it's a Starbucks, I think it's a Frappuccino jar, and I just removed the labels from it. And now I'm going to use some Tim Holtz tissue tape. I love this, I love the design on it, and I just ripped off a piece of it and I'm going to rip it in smaller sections. You want all different sizes of this tissue tape. So I'm ripping tiny pieces and then a little bit larger pieces. And now I'm going to use the Angel Craft Podge in semi-gloss. This stuff is wonderful. I absolutely love it. It comes with an applicator brush in the bottle. So I'm just going to pull out a scrap piece of paper. That way if I drip any, it catches on that. And I'm also working on a non-stick craft mat. And I'm simply brushing down some of the craft podge, quite a bit of it, and adding my tissue tape. And when you see that it goes on there, it'll go clear. If it's not clear, just add a little bit more of the Angel Craft Podge under it. And I'm just going around my entire jar. This did not take me long to do. I'm also going to wrap it around the bottom of my jar as well. And in some of the places, I actually add a few creases to this tissue tape because I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to it. And I just continued all the way around. This did not take me long to do at all. And I did in most of the places at, go back and add more tissue paper to it because I did not want it to look see-through at all. So here I'm showing you there's a few creases that I added just by using my fingers and bunching it up. And that's why this Angel Craft Podge is so easy to work with. It just cleans up, it washes up with water and soap. So it, it doesn't matter that it gets on my fingers a little. So here I'm showing you, I have a little bit of water and I'm adding some white acrylic paint to it because I wanna go ahead and give my bottle a white wash to it. I did let my jar sit overnight and let it completely dry. I let it sit upside down on the lid on a nonstick craft mat. So here I'm brushing it on and then wiping it off. And the first coat that I'm doing, I actually do two coats. Here I knock over my paint, which I had to clean up for a minute. Um, but I do two coats of it. The first coat is very watered down. In the second coat, I did not water down quite as much. And I was really happy with the results of doing two coats to it. So now you wanna go ahead and let this dry. I did take my heat gun to it because I was impatient and wanted to continue with my project. So I just quickly heat set it, made sure that it was dry. I love to recycle or upcycle products like this. So I save certain things in my stash just to work on projects. Now here I have some twine that I got from the dollar store and I'm using a little bit of hot glue and wrapping that twine around the entire top. And for some reason I accidentally, instead of hitting pause on my camera, I stopped my camera. So um, I did not film uh, one part of this, which is me just taking another piece of that twine and tying a bow around the top of it. I also had a couple flowers that I already had made in my stash that I added a little bit of hot glue and added them onto that. So unfortunately, I did not catch that on camera, but it was simply just, again, tying the twine around in a bow and then adding three of those flowers right there that you see. And those were this was a super simple project because those were already in my stash already made. Here are some cabochons that I'm tucking in between the flowers. And this project was inspired by Sherry Carroll. She had decoupaged a vase before and I just loved how it turned out. So I wanted to do one as well. I'm adding some glitter balls to it. And I also wanted to add a little bit of twine towards the bottom to tie that in. So I'm tying another little tiny bow and I will tuck that in between those two flowers using a little bit of hot glue. 
So again, this was a super quick and fun project to make. I hope you stop by Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the list of the products used in today's project with more detailed photos. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And thanks so much for watching.